In today's episode, we head from Coobapedi up this highway to Cadney Park, where we then continue through to Marla. From Marla, we go all the way, continuing up this highway till the Calgira Roadhouse, which then takes us up to the El Dunda Roadhouse. We chuck a left and head through Mount Ebenezer into where we finish this episode at Curtin Springs. Hey guys, so this morning we left Cooper Pedy and we're heading to Marla um, for a change. I'm not driving and Sophie's driving us. So hopefully you get to see this video, not sure. Hey! <laughs> Nah, so we're going to head out there and have some lunch and have a look around and probably stay there the night. Yeah, we'll show you what we get up to at, uh, during the day anyway. We up to Cadney Roadhouse. It's the last roadhouse in the state. So thought we would have a look. Certainly worth checking this one out. Uh, it's got a general store and a pub with a bar in it. So you can grab yourself a cold frothy as you're passing through. It's really cool because it's the last roadhouse style um, place before you hit the Northern Territory border. Change of plans. So we went to Marla, we fueled up there and that's about it. So we kept heading through towards the border of the NT and we found a free camp on the way about what three hours from the border. So we thought we'd stay here tonight because it looks pretty nice. So we're about to go for a walk around camp. So this is us for tonight. Um, it's about, yeah, as Aaron said, it's about three and a half hours from the border and it's just a dirt patch, which is all we need. Yeah, not too bad. A few people around. Yeah, there's a few vans around, which we like. Yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah, we like it just because it, you know, safety in numbers. <laughs> but yeah, they just said to watch out for dog baiting here, so see how we go. Hopefully all is good. No, no, another fatality from the Udenada track. Nothing major. Just the CB aerial is a bit loose, so just give it a tide and, and she'll be right. Well, good morning, good morning. Good morning, how's it going? Yes, so we thought we would pop the camera out this morning because we're doing something a little bit exciting or a little bit different, should we say. We didn't film anything last night. Uh, we just enjoyed our time at a free camp just outside. Uh, I think it was on Agnes Creek. Yeah, Agnes Creek. Yeah, Agnes Creek Rest Area, I think it was called. So, yeah, we just stayed there last night, um, had a campfire dinner, and it was pretty nice just to enjoy time and keep the camera away for a little while so yeah we thought this morning we'll bring it back out and show you guys what we get up to so we left pretty early this morning um, from the Agnes Creek rest area and on our way north so next time we see you we'll see you in the NT see you there How's it going? Told you we would see you next in the NT. And here we are. We have to get the famous pick. And Aaron is consistently wanting to wee on every border crossing. So, <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> so anyways, we'll have to get a pick of that later. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a nice day. It's your second border crossing, Miss Ginge. It's your second border crossing. So we're in the NT now, as you guys just seen. And we just drove down this first road into the NT and it said speed limit 130. It'd be good if I could do it, but towing the van, I don't think I'll get there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to unhitch just so we can bang it on one of the roads. I'd love to. <laughs> here at 
at the Calgara pub. It's the first and last pub, pub in, in the NT. Yeah, so we thought we'd better stop here, even though it's 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we'd better stop and show you guys what's around. At our camp tonight, it's the El Dunda Roadhouse. Um, it's 38 a night for power mm. and water. Mm. It is bore water, so you can't drink it, so we're not hooked up to it. So I've already been into the washing because the washing machine here is free. So I've got it all there behind, <laughs> hanging up in the sun because it's nice and sunny today. Let's go have a look around. So this is all powered, this section here. And they're all drive through sites. But if you've got a big rig, probably would have to unhook. Yeah, like we got an 18 foot and I'm still just hanging over. The car is hanging over and the back of the van is as well. Just a little bit, so it's not too bad. So if you probably, if you're probably like a 19, 19 20. 20 plus, I probably would still have to, yeah, unhook. But um, I've just spotted the resident camel, so let's go have a look. Don't say that about me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see, he's there. He's just having a feed. He was right up at the fence before. I think I just seen another one, just there. <laughs> so you can't have fires on your site, but they do have a communal fire pit with a little cooking plate and chairs all around that you can actually use. And it's a great way to meet other people too. So yeah, pretty cool. So there's a viewing platform up further that way. Um, obviously no dogs are allowed because of the emus and all that. So I'm going to stay here because I'm not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and Sophie will go have a look and when she's done I'll go up and have a look. Alright, let's go. Actually. Oh, and there's an emu. Oh my gosh. As if they're mates seen a few dead of these on the road on the way and I've seen a few alive too but probably not this close. <laughs> I'm glad there's a fence here. people have said to us do you regret bringing your dog with you especially through this section and the answer is still no we just tag team where we need to and yeah simple as that one of us will go up and stay with the dog and then we'll swap over and the other one can go have a look so now I've been let off the lead I can go have a look and see what we can see lonely emu With a rooster. I do. So, as you've seen, we were at the El Dunda Roadhouse yesterday and we left there this morning. And now we're at the Kernet Range Free Camp. It's a rest area. It's all dirt. It's pretty nice, except for the flies. And as you can see, we used the El Dunda washing machine yesterday and got all our washing hanging up. There's Sophie going insane with the flies. And Ginger, she was attacking them before. So let's take a look around. So that's where we're parked up for the night. Not too bad. Plenty of bins around, you can have fires. 
So there's a little sand dune here. Um, I've heard of people camping up and over it, um, but Curtin Springs have asked if you don't, because it's private property, they own it, so just respect it. And apparently on top you can see Mount Connor. So I'm on top of the sand dune now. Um, it's a pretty nice view. As you can see, that's our camp down there. We're the only people here for now. We'll see what happens this afternoon. I think it might get quite busy. Not sure if you can see, but in the distance over there is Mount Connor, the lookalike Uluru. So we'll walk back down the sand dune now and I'll show you some other campsites. There's quite a few around here. So, as you can see, there's heaps of sites. Pretty much camp anywhere here. So, don't park on top of each other. Give each other some space. At our last three camp, someone parked right next to us and started his Jenny up. So, just have some camp etiquette. And put your rubbish in the bin. So we're just pulled into Curtin Springs. Um, they got a servo, free campground. They got paid campground as well. We're gonna stay out the back in the free area. Um, we're filling our water. It's bore water, but they say it's potable. So we'll see how it goes. It's a $10 donation. There's three charities. So I'm not sure what they are. And we- It's guide oh, dogs. Guide dogs. Flying doctor. Flying doctor. And something else. And something else, <laughs> I don't know. So if you went and did it, and of course we're still filtering our water. We just do it every time, just in case, because you never know. We've got showers here as well. Available. And some toilets. Today we left the free camp. Where was that free camp at? Kernot Range Rest Area. It was pretty nice. Um, it was all red dirt, as you would have seen. And today we're at Curtin Springs. And I'll show you around our campsite. Got the awning out. We might stay here for two nights. We'll see how we go. The dog bed, table, chairs. Backing onto where their cattle are. It's a pretty big area. They've got showers, which are four dollars, and toilets. They do have powered sites, but you got to pay for those. So we went with free, and they've got drinking water as well. And that's our fire pit. So guys, that concludes this episode. We will start the Red Centre next. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. It's going to be a good one. Um, hopefully we can find a water hole and of course head to the big rock. Yeah, and we'll show you guys what it's like traveling the Red Centre with a dog as well because it does come across some challenges. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. We guys will see you next week. Sure will. See, see ya. ya. Bye. on the front of the van and the back of the, sorry, the front of the van and the back of the. Can you speak English? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>